Welcome, I'm Leslie Ross, owner and founder of Beige in the Backcountry. Beige is going off. On our 10 year anniversary, we're reaching more women in more locations, providing more opportunities for women to access education and skills in the backcountry. The inspiration for Babes in the Backcountry came 15 years ago when I moved to Breckenridge, Colorado. I was challenged to find ski pants that fit, tele boots that were my size, any women specific gear. When I moved to Breckenridge, I got involved with the Summit Huts Association. The more that I spent time at Janet's cabin and Francie's cabin, I found that the people that were heading out there weren't as educated in the backcountry. And I also found there were no women. I was like, where are the women? The classes that I was taking really focused on the scientist or the avalanche forecaster, not us. And I wanted to create an opportunity to bring more women to the huts to experience the fun, social atmosphere of a hut trip and experience that opportunity to get outside and learn. So what I think is so amazing about Babes in the Backcountry is that it brings women together. It brings those women that are maybe nervous about going out in the backcountry, it teaches them skills. I just love the snow. I love playing in the mountains when there's snow on the ground. There's no competition when you go in a babes course. It's all about learning, sharing giggles, having adventures. You just gotta do it. Party on that long The seasons don't ever come on time no more And war banks over the years And anger fills our tears What happened to the sun? One of the most amazing things about Babes was just that giving women that understanding of how important it is to be clear and get centered before we take on some of these really big physical challenges. What I loved about the Mount Shasta trip was that it was such a great environment of strong, powerful women. And I came out of there feeling like someone totally new. Talked about everything under the sun from sports bras to how to be a better mountain biker. I've got a stronger perspective of myself. It's definitely made me more confident and I made some really good friends I've kept in touch with and I can't wait to go again. Oh, loved one, what happened to our sons? Um, so in addition to building skills to really get women further out, we're working with some amazing teachers from all over the world who can really help women to understand the link to their natural environment. We're working with indigenous elders, we're working with some of the top people in the conservation field, and we're also working with people that can help women to really transform their own consciousness from the inside out so they get to really understand what their role is on the earth and they understand what their highest purpose and passion is in their life. turns and how to do late change turns and I learned how to shuffle and I learned how to do the pull drag. I see you right there. Well, like now link turns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
She's the pioneer of the women's movement. She's the visionary behind all women outdoor programs. She is a small little gal doing big things.